Mickey Mantle, 19-year-old rookie Yankee outfielder, was definitely out of the entire series and manager Casey Stengel, stated Hank Bauer, who replaced him after he was injured, would continue to play right field. Mantle's injury was diagnosed as a sever sprain of the right knee. It all started with a Willie Mays high fly to right center field. Joe DiMaggio and Mantle both went after the ball and DiMaggio finally camped under it. Mantle, coming fast, from right field suddenly pitched forward and fell flat on his face. At the same instant, DiMaggio caught the ball. It appeared at first that Mantle had merely dropped to the ground to give DiMaggio clearance to make the catch. But Mantle lay motionless. DiMaggio bent over the youngster who was stretched out in front of him and immediately signaled the Yankee dugout to bring a stretcher. Bullpen catchers Charlie Silvera and Ralph Houck were the first to reach Mantle. A cleat on Mantle's shoe caught on a piece of the underground lawn sprinkler apparatus in the outfield. Mantle was carried off the field in a stretcher and later it was revealed by Dr. Sidney Gaynor, the Yankees physician, that the youngster had suffered a sprained right knee, sidelining him for the rest of the series. The injury was extremely serious and required many operations. It was a big contributor to why Mantle never reached the great heights predicted for him. After the game, Mantle spoke about the play. And quote, it was Joe's ball. I was getting out of the way. Maybe I stepped in a hole, but something let go in my knee. I heard it pop. I don't know just what happened, and quote. And after this injury, Mickey Mantle would never be the same.